Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome to episode number 17 from the Freethinker House. So if you've been following us since we first moved in October, you've seen a lot of exciting changes. You've seen us change this house, transform the garden, hold the skill shares, benefit shows, documentary screenings, uh, raise money for different groups. And you've also seen us grow individually as we've learned new skills like how to brew kombucha. We've learned more about gardening. Um, we're learning about how to connect to our community through apps like nextdoor.com. And you've seen our housemate Johnny make his progress from quitting his banks and moving towards a credit union and now going towards quitting his day job and actually moving full on into a decentralized lifestyle. First off, let's take a look at a recent spring gardening day here at the Freethinker House. We had another big group of people come in and we had gardening activities, we had meditation, and we even played a game of kickball. So check this out. Brainstorming session. We're trying to remember where we ate dinner last night. Wait, y'all saw this last night? <coughs> yep. Planting jalapenos. And trying to find a spot for the melons. Alright, what are we doing today, Johnny? What's happening today? We got a big day planned. Uh, we're going to be gardening all morning, putting some new plants in the ground. But what is today called? Today is. Happy Fun Sunday. Fun day. Happy Sunday, Sunday Fun day. day. All right, so what's all included happy. in the Sunday Fun Day? It's happy. A very happy day indeed. What? What's all included in the Sunday Fun Day? This action packed Sunday Fun Day is filled with gardening, Got some hanging gardening. out with friends and family, uh, drinking kombucha, making smoothies. What kind of kombucha we got? Um, hibiscus. Tea. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. And, <laughs> and what, what's next after the gardening? We're gonna be hanging out here, and then we're gonna we're gonna take this uh, party over to. Um, we're gonna chill here for a minute and do some meditation with Men Mob Houston. There goes Becky flying in the background. Look, <laughs> she swooped in, stole it. She stole your thunder. So we're doing Med Mob Houston, and then what, Johnny? Then you're excited about exciting kickball game, in which I will defeat you. All right, we're gonna have some competitive kickball today, and yeah, yeah. potluck. Now follow me to the garlic. I'm gonna show you guys. We just found some Same. more stuff. So you've already know we've got the cactus and prickly pear that was here when we moved in. We've got the pomegranate tree that was here when we moved in. So there's lots of local fruit in the loquat tree, and now we discovered we have some growing wild. Let's go around this side. We have a wild tiger here. He's been teased by the birds today so much, but he's keeping his peace. Look at these guys. Look at that. So last time you guys tuned in, we had the gardening day and we planted beans around here. We're still waiting for them to sprout. So far it doesn't look like much. But when we were checking out to see, we discovered these little bulbs that you can see. These are garlic, wild garlic going right here. All this stuff right here. These are all garlic seeds, so you can see there's just they just keep falling. They're gonna go right back into the ground. And our guess is that when the lawn person comes here, they just keep trimming and cutting them without realizing there's wild garlic. So we're picking some, and then we're gonna transplant them into the garden so they can help. If you didn't know, like companion planting garlic because of the smell, it's so strong it repels certain insects, it repels certain pests, and um, some people believe it it helps the other plants grow well, you know, in conjunction with certain certain plants. So check that out. Fresh wild garlic. Yummy. Check this out. We got a it's nice stack of uh, wild garlic. We're going to replant around the house different places. And we got community happening, people working hard to weed and plant new things. Water in the garden. This is what community looks like. What's in the bucket? Uh, there's soil from... Soil? Compost pile. Oh, look at those worms. Uh -huh, I got a few, uh, few worms in here. So too. we pull in soil from our compost we've been growing. And then... Like Some micro light, a little bit of uh, assistance from microorganisms, and then we're gonna. This is going for the papayas. 
So we're gonna put that around the base of the ones we're planted already. So there's one already. There's another guy. And bottle down. Um, but anyway, watch that movie today. Can you actually do it? Yes. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what does kickball have to do with freedom or building community? Well, we're trying to go out to the park, bring food in a potluck picnic, potluck barbecue style event, and go out there and pass out flyers about our activities, and just invite people to come play a game of kickball with us. This is a really easy way and simple way to connect with people, and we realize that building community and changing the world is going to involve changing ourselves and also connecting with people that live near us. This could be as simple as saying, hey, would you like to join us in this game? And then through that process, telling them about what you're involved in, telling them about what you care about in the projects that you do. It's a great way to connect and to spread the message. Now let's get to Johnny. Johnny, as I said, is preparing to quit his job and he's very excited. We're really excited for him because we think this is going to make him much happier and help him live the life he wants. Let's see what he has to say. What's up, free thinkers? Johnny here. Another uh, quick update on my end. I'm quitting my job in seven freaking days. I'm so excited. Uh, this is my second to last week here at UPS. I just wanted to check in with y'all and give you a a quick update on why exactly I'm quitting. A couple reasons that, that brought me to this decision that I've made. My first reason, and I think a lot of people go through this, is because I'm genuinely unhappy at my work often. Um, you know, the environment's kind of rough. A lot of people put others down. It's, um, it's just, it's just kind of a negative environment for me. I don't want to get into too much details, but I know there's a lot of other people out there who are feeling that and they're feeling stuck because they're just, this is their source of income. But the fact is, if you're unhappy, then you should at least start trying to find something better or start trying to find a new facility or people to surround yourself with. Because when you're spending 40 hours a week along with unhappy people who are making you, bringing you down and draining your energy, you're not going to get much done. You're not going to want to come home and be active or you're not going to wake up motivated. You're going to be dragging yourself around. And, and that, so that's a big factor in why I personally am trying to move forward and choose a different line of work. The second reason is because I despise the Federal Reserve and all of its entities, that its funding and everything that, that it basically stands for. Um, I don't like the fact that my tax dollars are being taken out of my check every week without my permission. I mean, most people in America or most other countries are going to have this problem as well. These guys are automatically taking out like 20% of your paycheck, even though you barely make enough money to live as it is. And they're spending this money on not helping your communities, they're not cleaning our water, they're not fighting pollution or you know, whatever, they're, they're bombing other countries. They're militarizing our police, just paying for these, these politicians' vacations and all kinds of things you don't support and you have absolutely no say in how that money is spent. Moving through the agorist mindset and, and a solution-based mindset leads me to think that when I pull out of a job like that and I start becoming an entrepreneur and start pursuing making money on my own hands and through trading and benefiting through my community, that's just, you know, one less paycheck that's going to these assholes over there. Third reason, I would say, is just to straight up follow my dreams. As many of you know, we're about to go on tour. When I heard the word that uh, the tour was happening, I looked at the map and I decided I fucking quit. I quit. Because um, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to go on tour and I feel so strongly about these messages and what they represent that I'm willing to just drop everything and take that chance because right now I'm young, right now I'm motivated 
And, you know, despite uh, some people would say I have lack of a backup plan, like I don't, I never went to college or anything, I feel like if you work hard and you trust the universe and you follow the right path, things will work out for you. And even if they don't, you know, I'm 23. I have the rest of my life to figure it out. But right now, in this moment, I know that I need to follow my dreams and do everything I can to start living by my values and my principles. That's why I'm quitting my job. If y'all are having issues with this, you know, feel free to talk about it in the comments below. We'll, we'll chit chat about it, see what the solutions might be. You guys are awesome. Stay free. I love y'all. And that's it for this week's update. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support us. If you'd like to support our efforts, please sign up on patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse, patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse, and you can support us on a monthly basis. And one last final note, we are going on tour this summer. If you haven't heard yet, check out theconsciousresistance.com slash tour. Me, Johnny, Jeffer, and my partner Miriam are all gonna hit the road, hitting 51 cities across the United States, Texas, West Coast, Midwest, and the East Coast. If you want to be a part of this, if you want to get involved, if you want to see where we're at, check out theconsciousresistance.com slash tour. We look very much forward to seeing you guys on the road and finding out what you're doing in your community and learning from each other. So thanks for your support. We'll see you very soon. Remember, you are powerful, you are beautiful, and you are free. Peace.